Welcome to a brand new edition of The Week at Belmont. I'm Dustin Stout. First up, Hands-On Nashville Day is this Saturday. It's the largest day of service to Metro Nashville Public Schools and is a fundraising event for Hands-On Nashville. Team Belmont will perform beautification projects at local public schools because if anyone knows how to beautify a campus, it's Belmont. If you want to get involved, contact information is available on BIC. Does it annoy you when your roommate harmonizes with the vacuum cleaner? Have V-necks, skinny jeans, and toms taken over your apartment? Well, you could benefit from hearing Director of Counseling Services Peg Leonard Martin speak on adjusting to apartment life. It's Friday at 10 a.m. in Massey Room 100, and it's Personal Growth Convo. Now, all this talk of roommate conflict got us thinking, what real roommate rumbles go on here at Belmont? We thought we'd send out correspondent Jessica Atkins to find out. Jessica? Thanks, Dustin. It's Jessica Adkins here, and I'm about to head into the Beeman to see what advice people can offer me about how to be a good roommate. What can you tell me about your past roommate experiences? Well, my freshman year, I roomed with Brian Brammer. What's up, Brian? And he actually thought that we had a maid come and take our trash out for the first semester, so... But you were that maid. I was the maid. I don't know. Sometimes we go to Wendy's. Oh, like 3 a.m. on a Tuesday? Like 8.30 at night. <laughs> Party. There was one time where he, w my roommate was selling a, uh, some sort of video game controller or something, and he was selling it on Craigslist. We're back here with Robbie Earl again, a patron of the Beeman. So Robbie, uh, what advice do you have for keeping a relationship healthy and strong throughout the year with a roommate? Well, Jessica, as with any relationship, communication is key. And one morning he woke me up at like 9 o'clock and said, hey, can you go to this Craigslist deal with me? Because you should never go to a Craigslist deal by yourself. And so I went and uh, we went, it was like in the parking lot of Home Depot, this guy pulled up in like, like literally a dark gray, like, like vapor bus almost. <laughs> um, so throughout the year, you have to keep in touch with your relationship on a deeper level than just the shallow stuff. You have to get deep in there. But then, yeah, but then, you know, he got his money and, uh, he sold his game controller, so that was a pretty bonding experience. <laughs> you, get to, you get to really know him, get to really know the issues that drive him. You have to know what moves him so that you can move him and so that you can bond together. And that's how dreams are made, you know? Now I'm here with our student government president, Rachel McNabb. Rachel, what, can you, what advice do you give about how to keep your relationship going strong with your roommate? I think that with my roommates, the best thing that I have found to do is to have what we call family dinners. So we get together and we share our pits and peaks of the week, which basically means that we share the things that are the best parts of the week and the worst parts of the week. And um, it creates for a very interesting time sometimes. Well, thanks, Rachel. That's all we've got for you today from the Beeman. I'll send it back to Dustin now with the rest of your news. Thanks, Jessica. Fraternity recruitment is this weekend. Each fraternity will have individual events around campus starting today and going through Friday. Men who are going through recruitment must attend one event from each fraternity in order to receive a bid. Each frat will give a formal presentation on Saturday, and bid day is Sunday. Now don't worry ladies, there is also plenty for you to do this weekend. Sigma Alpha Iota is a national music fraternity for women, and they're also looking for new members this week with a Disney Princess-themed recruitment. Some of their invent events include a ice skating trip, cupcake decorating party, a Disney movie viewing party, and their annual rose tea. Check Big for details on all those events and more. On a similar note, SAPB is presenting Girls Night In Friday in the Beeman. They'll be playing 10 Things I Hate About You and offer makeovers, free snacks, and cupcakes. Big says, come on down and enjoy a Friday night of girly fun. Well, Dr. Reality is back from his week-long vacation from the show, and I hear he has something to offer about this Girls' Night In event. Dr. Reality? Thanks, Dustin. Okay, so I understand the purpose of the whole Girls' Night In thing. After all, girls just want to have fun. But answer this question for me. Why does girly fun always have to include a chick flick? You know, maybe those romantic kind of movies appeal to girly crowds. What do you think? I think that if I ever watch a chick flick again, it will be too soon. That's why this week, 10 Things I Hate About You has inspired my five things I hate about chick flicks. Uh-oh, let's hear them. <clears throat> Number five, every chick flick tells the same story. How much more predictable can they get? I mean, I can't argue that, point taken. Number four? 
The acting in chick flicks is almost always despicable. Learn your craft, please. Okay. Maybe you have something there too, but do you have any observations about the perceptions they offer about love? You better believe it. Number three, they offer unrealistic expectations about love. Long walks on the beach only lead to calluses. Ouch. Number two? I can't ever watch a chick flick because there's always some girl next to me crying on my shoulder. Suck it up. And finally, my number one reason why I hate chick flicks as the notebook taught us, true love leads to only one thing, spending your old age sitting in a mental facility. Back to you, Dustin. Wow, thanks, Dr. Reality. Last week, we brought you interviews with each artist who performed this past weekend at the Christian Showcase, and this week, we are happy to announce Haley Hamilton took home top honors. Congratulations to everyone involved. The Urban Pop Showcase is next, October 8th, and look for our, our interviews with those artists in a few weeks. Sticking with news from the Curb College, the first ASCAP Writers' Night is next Tuesday. The winner will head straight to the Best of the Best Showcase at the end of the year. Curb College folks, it's also showcase credit. Well, that's all we have this week. Join us again next Wednesday for another edition of The Week at Belmont. Until then, I'm Dustin Stout. to these I'm like sentimental the moments. I'm just like, was not expecting that. Don't worry ladies, there is also plenty of things for you to do this weekend. Sigma Alpha O it, I, oh God. Plus my voice is all messed up and I, it's my squeaky.